evening 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China Sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the ordeal killing of the Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what it currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Forty-seven. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. Forty-seven. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins, and will be, be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. Is anyone there? Hey, I'll end up. Hey. <laughs> Hello? Did you hear me? Someone kicking some. Oh, please don't. Hey, the 
gold got gold. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. Maybe I should just deny everything. This, this trashy girl is clearly lying. How can you believe anything she says? Those emails are fabricated. Photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the Barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible.
47, that man there, he resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. No luck. It looked like him, but that's not the maelstrom. Could you give me a little more room to breathe? Hmm. No. That's not him. That wasn't him. Shame, not the maelstrom. That isn't the maelstrom. That wasn't him. No.
That wasn't him. It's me. It is imperative you notify me as soon as Saga's barbershop is open again. It is excellent source of information, and I want to make sure he understands who he's working for now. Signal me at once when the shop is open. That is all. I say, Padra. Any idea why the boss wants to know when the barbershop is open again? Yeah. Saga and the Barber has assigned his team the information. He basically has every snitch in the slum sharing the news with him. The boss wants him on our side. Barber even came down to the high dungeon to be shown a picture of the boss. All the secrecy is so strange. This barber is tangled up in some shady business, 47. But even more interesting. He may have seen a picture of the Maelstrom in the hideout of the street gang known as the Crows. That picture would be very helpful to our cause. He says having a secret time. It's me. It is imperative you notify me as soon as Sangha's barbershop is open again. He is an excellent source of information, and I want to make sure he understands who he's working for now. Signal me at once when the shop is open. That is all.
All right, 47. We're open for business. We know what the Maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience and shaving cream is what's on the menu now, 47. Not at this moment, sir. Forget this. I'll go somewhere else. Forty-seven. That man by the counter. That's the maelstrom. That looks like our patience paid off. Ready for How about you invite him in for a close shave? is dead. Very well done, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. need clearance to pass. You don't have it, buddy, so go away. Shmilake, did you have any luck? No. A tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that his shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the royal guard can do stuff like that. I'm sure my shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you drown all the others, I guess. It appears Vanya Shah is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. She's sent after a local tailor, but for some reason the man refuses to cooperate. A man of your impeccable taste should be able to fill in perfectly for the tailor. You 
there. Sir, please, one moment. You look like a discerning gentleman. We have the finest wares in here. Best cloth, finest cuts, dresses in all sizes. Come in and have a look. Perhaps the Another one of Anya Shah's servants just came by to try to convince Uncle Rihar to come over to the train yard. He didn't say yes, did he? I know it's a great honor to be able to make a dress for the club. But what happened to the other day? Greetings, sir. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Cheap, durable cloth in many special colors.
Have a nice day. Do you mind checking that out? No worries. Excellent. Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. Sail on high quality cotton twill. Sail on high quality cotton twill. Get it. Oh, How much are these? Ah, no bad. Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refined taste and a skilled handler. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but it's yours for 105 rupees. Then. It's a deal, yes? Wow. Eyes are really burning into me, sir. Like you're just looking straight into my soul. Okay, final offer now. Ninety rupees. Ninety rupees per running meter. That's my own cost. I, I really can't go lower. <laughs> Still no. Your haggling skills are something else. I'll give you that much. The silence. It's it's terribly unnerving, to be honest. It's like you're uh, just dead inside. Like there's a vast, empty space where your emotions would normally reside. I can go no lower than 75 rupees. Really, take the offer. Please take the offer. 
You know what? My grandmother made these with her own hands. There's blood on the loom every night because she works so hard. The fair price is 100 rupees, so that's what I'm judging. I serves you right for just standing there like a corpse. Fine. The story about my grandmother is a lie. We both know it. Your silence is killing me. Just, just have it at what I buy it for. 40 rubies, that's it. Please, it's a fair price. You beat me. Take it. 40 rupees, okay. It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one, though. Sale on high quality cotton twill. Sale on high quality cotton twill. Get your bundle. Great. Thank you. Come again. It's you. Did you bring the cloth from this shah? Yes, I have it right here. But bloody time! Come with me! Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so our guards will search you. Not to worry. Come on, let's see what you have in your pockets today. I'm not exactly enjoying this either, so just stay still and we'll be done soon. Go on ahead. dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. How are you today? She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Provided the child lives so long. That is the problem. Little Raji is not well. Five years. Five. Five years, my queen. Yes. Five additional years of servitude to your queen, for you and your wife. In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she is old enough to work the spinning wheels. 
That is my offer, Mr. Hussain. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Ah, the elusive dealer. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure... Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements back with you. Smart work, 47. Charles will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution up to you. measuring right away. If you didn't bring a tape, I'm pretty certain all the other tapes that there's behind. I can use that. They won't need it. Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shah. Turn around, please, Miss Shah. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. You've probably... <laughs> Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. Out alive. I'm getting ready to dispose of another dead body. I just got to see someone killed the other day. Kidnapping of the Oriental Ball happened shortly 
How are you? I won't ask him to sign it for you. I have to go catch him before he vanishes again. Bye, Mom. Mr. Arthur? Gregory Arthur. It is you, now. Taxi, taxi. Let's go, sir.
Just one scene to go and we're done. Looks like the fan has been set up again. Do you know why they haven't shot it yet? Karishma threw the last copy of the script into the elevator shaft. She doesn't want to do the scene with Rangan. He still wants to do the kiss? Oh, are the nerve of this guy? Jutia, he's a creep. And Karishma isn't happy. The production of Mumbai Hero is coming to a close, but it seems there's a spot of trouble. Lead actress Karisma Hassan has refused to do a kissing scene with Rangan and has got rid of the script by tossing it down an elevator shaft. Shame. The scene features the use of a large industrial wind machine. Could be worth investigating. I think she's gone. Let's hope nobody finds the script then. Rangan doesn't deserve to get his way. Dawood Rangan has leased an industrial strength fan, normally used for clearing smoke from construction tunnels. That's a beast of a machine, 47. The crew have put some sort of limiter on the fan output, but maybe you could make a few changes.
Will you please go check out what that was? Oh yeah, I get it. Right. Are you serious? This is like... I need a second of your time, tough guy. Who the hell is this guy? Do you know him? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Of course, no! What are you talking about? This food is good. I don't feel so good. Oh no!
what the bloody hell are you all doing down there? This is the final day of shooting, and you look like you're all on coffee break. Come on, Sharuk, get moving. Hurry, I cannot believe I have to tell you this again. We are spending millions of rupees every day on this movie, and it's all going up in flames. Don't move a damn muscle. I found this. A script? You found it. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Listen, the scene needs the fan to be running. Run over and marriage, will you? Right before the scene starts, I'll signal to you to turn it on. Just make sure the safety is on and you don't go above the indicated power. I'll round up everyone. You got it. Good work, 47. Darwood is hurrying down now to act out the final scene with Hassan. Let's make sure he doesn't run out of wind. Great news, everyone. We have found the script. Get to your places. We are ready to shoot. All right. All right, everybody. Mr. Rungan is on his way. We just need to get this one scene in the can, and then that is a wrap. Karishma, here's that last line that you kept missing. I'm yours forever, not with me, hero. Hmm. Right, right. So, um, what is my motivation? Like, why kiss him? He is a foul finder. You love him. It is a pure, intimate love that has bloomed over the course of the weeks since you spent in tough company. You were with me, I clouded your mind over those years, but after we let you free, you realized that you were doing true love. Hi there. Hero. How are you doing? It sounds kind of unrealistic to me. I, I mean, sure. He saved me and everything, and, and I understand why I would be grateful. But a kiss? Maybe just a firm handshake? Or a hug, even? Oh, you're full of love, Karishma. Mumbai. All right, people, time to get the show on the road. I'm here, my lips are ready for the final, most important shot of the film. Karisma, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Get this show on the road. Start the fan. Are you jaldi, yaar, fan? 
Starwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Mission completed. Time to find him next. Wow. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Oh, no. He just moved straight around the building. How can something like this happen? He's not walking away from this. Oh, oh, got him. We got him. Got, got. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. You came home. I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Uh, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know, it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact. 
you and I. Do this, and we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. 